Hello everyone, welcome back to App Unbox, where we uncover the best apps there is on the market. If you're into photography or graphic design, today's video is going to be super valuable to you. We are putting PhotoKit and Bool Tool to the test to find out which one offers more value for your money. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you stay updated with all our latest contents. So here is Bool Tool and here is PhotoKit. First, we are going to uh, check out the pricings of both of these applications, and then we are going to check out the lifetime deal that's running for them. Okay, uh, let's go to the pricing of Bull Tool, um, starting with the monthly pricing. Let's see, and where is uh, pricing of Photo Kit? All right, we we're not finding the pricing here. Um, Photo Kit, clarity, exposure. Let's go to their homepage. How about we search for photo kit pricing? So here we have the pricing of photo kit and the pricing of bull tool. Well, the pricing of bull tool hasn't been loaded yet. Let's refresh the page so that we get the pricings. All right, so yearly it's going to cost us $7.99 and uh, the ultra package is going to cost us $15.99, but that's for year package. Then so we're going to go to monthly and we have $9.90 and the ultra is going to cost us $19.90. So let's go to the pricing of photo kit and we have free pricing here and the VIP pricing, which is going to give us full access to all functionalities future AI tools, ads free, unlimited image downloads. So 30 day is gonna be $9.99, so it's almost the same, okay? The lifetime is gonna cost us $19.99. This package is not present in Bull Tool, but uh, we are going to check out if it's present in any other platforms. So we're going to find Bull Tool in any other platform. Let's see which platform is it available on. So it's not available on any uh, other platforms. So let's go to Digital Launchpad and I'm sure that they're gonna uh, redirect us to AppSumo. Let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and open this one too. Uh, we have it on uh, Dealify, uh, Stack Social. But since we have found Bull Tool on AppSumo, we're going to compare both of their prices with uh, AppSumo's platform. So as you can see, photo kit is going to cost us $69 for the lifetime deal. And here is Bull Tool. It's going to cost us only $29 for the lifetime deal. But Bull Tool had slightly a lower number of reviews and the review is also uh, less comparing to photo kit where it has five tacos with 256 reviews. Here we have 34 reviews with 4.5 tacos. So uh, let's see what the user has to say. But first, uh, we're going to check out the features that's coming with the uh, pricing plans. So 10 batch processing, and if you want unlimited, you can just get the tier two, which is going to cost us $69, which is going to cost us $69, okay? Then we have $69 photo kit, photo editor. We are going to check out what this one offers. So there's only one plan, full access to all functionality, future AI tools. It's just uh, what they are offering on their pricing page, the VIP package. Uh, for lifetime which is just not going to cost us $99 it's going to cost us $69 but in Bull Tool if we want something like let's see yearly package as you can see built year 95 so it's obviously it's less than even the yearly uh, yearly cost of Bull Tool so obviously if you want any of the tools then uh, buying the lifetime deal will be the best decision because you're also getting 60 days money back guarantee from for these tools so here we have uh, something from the founders but we are not here to uh, listen to the founders we are going to be checking out the reviews and here blue tool review uh, five taco great tool honest review of pool tool web app a powerful image enhancer with room for improvement so um, it's specifying that there is room for improvement a bunch of good tools in uh, one platform all right so we have positive reviews uh, the native ones didn't came in front of us so we're going to check out three reviews here uh, this one is simple yet robust very easy to use and excellent product so we're checking four reviews instructions would be helpful okay so this here we have one uh, four star so let's close out the lifetime deals and explore the applications from within let's go ahead and log into bull tool and also 
We're gonna use Google to log in. We're gonna use Gmail account to log in. And let's go ahead and start editing with PhotoKit. So here is the PhotoKit editor. I don't think there is no login shenanigans needed here. And where is my login of Bool Tool? All right, so we are logged in with Bool Tool. So in Bool Tool, we have Image Tool, which is a portrait background remover, object background remover, uh, object eraser. We're gonna try out object background remover for Bool Tool. And let's explore PhotoKits later. So Bool Tool first, we're gonna upload an object image, but um, since there is a crown here, we might not be able to use it. Let's just check out. We're gonna use this object. Processing, it will take a while. Yeah, no problem, take your time. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. Lift up the tires, okay? So that's object background remover, and obviously it's, uh, there's a crown here, so you shouldn't be giving giving this uh, away for free, right? But guess what? They're just giving it away for free. Uh, this object background remover should have been a premium feature. Yeah, and despite being a premium feature, they're just giving it out for free. I don't know why they're doing it. So let's go ahead and try object eraser. Uh, here we have uh, upload an image to start okay so we are going to upload this image here and let's try to erase the tire of this jeep wrangler so we are selecting the tire and now let's see the magic eraser does its trick all right so the tire is gone here just let's zoom into the image all right so the tire is gone let's try out the rear tire right yeah, this one is a better job that they just uh, disappeared the entire thing, but uh, still the shadow does not make sense. So object remover might not be working very well here, but still let's try it with the mirror. If it works with the mirror, then we are going to be certain that the object, <laughs> all right, so we need to unlock the feature to use it, no problem. Uh, we have seen uh, what uh, the object eraser can do. So they are also offering portrait background remover object background remover uh, that we have checked out so image enhancer photo filters and effects they have lots of photo filters and effects let's check them out in order to check them we're gonna need a photo let's try one so here are all the filters and effects for our photos so we have bright filter uh, fading filter frame all right this one looks cool we have a four screen we have high contrast, we have cold, we have a dusk, we have peach, we have sunset, and guess what, we have relief too, okay? So lots of filters, uh, exploring them would take so much amount of time. Then we have image resizer, if you want to resize an image. Now let's go ahead and uh, resize an image. So we're going to image, uh, resize this one, now it's 365 kilobytes. Let's just resize this one. All right, so it's gonna be same aspect ratio. Same way, okay. Resize to fit, let's download it. So it's 151 uh, kilobytes where the main image was. Let's check out uh, how much the main image was. So the main image here was 42 kilobytes and it resized to 151 kilobyte. All right, so the main image was too much small. Let's try some other images like bigger ones, 226 kilobytes. Let's try that one. Make sure that the image you're trying uh, to compress is not already compressed. That image was edited to be a smaller version. So here we have downloads it's actually resizing the image so, oh so it's just not an image shrinker it's going to resize it to an aspect ratio all right so that's this one is the actual image compressor now this is going to compress your images now let's see we're going to compress this one so source image is going to be 232 kilobytes and compressed image is going to be 55 kilobyte now we can go for more compression 80% will affect the image quality so more than 80% will affect the image quality so we're going to stay 
at 79%. Let's compress the image, download, and now we're going to compare those images. So this one is 819 kilobytes. This one is 518. Let's just remove this one. We're going to check this one out. Just keep it on the sidelines and we're going to open this image. We're going to compare both of them side by side. All right, let's zoom in this one. As you can see, there are not much visual differences between the two images. Like, but the size difference is massive. You know, it's this one is like 226 uh, kilobytes, and this one is only 19 kilobytes. So it's more, it's more than a two times or three times smaller. So I would say the image compressor is a great tool here. And we have photo animation effects, background blur, AI paraphraser. These are copywriting tools, so these, they are not related to imaging. And then we have a video enhancer. So this one was not available a month ago, but it's a new feature that has been added to Bull Tool. Now, since we have explored Bull Tool, we are going to get to Photo Kit this time. Let's open up a photo. Opening this one. Here we go. So this one is photo kit. We can cut out. So I guess cut out is just like object remover in Google tool. As you can see, yeah, the cutout is just like an object remover in Google tool. But since we have used uh, object remover to, for Google tool, we're going to use the same tool here uh, for cutting out this deep wrangler and see how it does the work. So cut out and well yeah since this one had shade on its tires uh, the cutout is not very precise so bull tool and photo kit is going to be a tie here cancel we can paint our car can we no let's see what in paint is doing so in paint is removing an object just like an object remover as you can see but uh, in case of photo kit, these features are free. Oh my God, this, uh, the tool removed the mirror so well. Now let's see if it can remove the rear fender of the truck. Yeah, it's working pretty well, but the tires are, you know, actually the tires are not a removable object for cars. That's why the tool is unable to, uh, unable to identify what to put there. So it's not removing it very well. So let's cancel the tool. And then we have smoothing options smooth out the images now we're gonna go ahead and open another image since this one is uh, very highly compressed so here we are selecting an image that is not highly compressed let's smooth out the image all right so do we have any visual differences let's see yeah the color colors are changing it's much more white now so here we go, this is just being much more wider after we smooth out the image. Then we have clarity, so AI image quality enhancer is here. Then we have exposure, so the ex auto exposure is not very good, it's overexposing the image. Since my image has enough uh, good exposure, then I guess I don't have to apply auto exposure. Then we can go for balance, uh, so it's auto color balance here. I guess I can keep the auto color balance because that's uh, pretty well done. So we have a correction which is changing the angle of the entire photo. Now uh, look at these wheels. This wheel is a little uh, downside here. As you can see my mouse is fitting inside, <laughs> not fitting inside here and here uh, there is more space after fitting my mouse. So after I uh, hit the correction button look at the angle correction both of these wheels are now almost at the same place but uh, it's it's not looking very well okay so the correction is making an image change its angle but it's not always giving the best angle for an image so after that we have effects palettes styles and these are all just uh, you know customizing the image we can uh, sketchify our image or cartoonize our image as you can see the image has been sketchified now uh, if we change the background paint 
as you can see we are able to change the background paint and it looks pretty cool now let's just uh, take color from somewhere else yeah that not that one how about this one now it's just blended with our browser so how about the yellow one so taking the dropper tool again and then we're gonna apply something now look at this it's a masterpiece and let's just apply this filter but we can just, we're just gonna go back again okay we haven't tried out the cartoon effects so let's try this one now this is looking like a cartoon car although it was a cartoon car before so yeah I don't think that cartoonizing it will make much of a difference it's just making it worse so make sure to not try this with a cartoon image because if we try it with a cartoon it's just gonna make it look worse and guess what we can try it again with our cartoonified image and I'll show you what it's, what it's doing as you can see it's just uh, making it more worse and we're gonna undo two times and get the real image back so I think photo kits is offering a lot of things if you are a professional photographer then photo kit will be offering you a lot of things and the free package you're getting every everything uh, in free package all of these features and no wonder why photo kit is so expensive they are offering lots of tools here so you know uh, that's worth of 69 dollars but if you're paying 69 dollars for bull tool you'll be getting the tier 2 package which is in my opinion not necessary but if you purchase the tier 1 in bull tool package then you're paying 29 dollars so in that case uh, purchasing bull tool will be uh, value for money all right guys so there you have it photo kit versus bull tool so which one's the winner it really boils down to your specific needs if you want to save money you don't want to edit your images that much professionally then you can settle down for bull tools lifetime deal at only 29 dollars but if you want to edit your images to its maximum then you should go to photo kits because it's offering much more tools that's all for today folks if you found this comparison helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends let me know in the comments what you think and if there's anything else you'd like to see on our channel until next time stay creative